Okay, today we're going to be making a puzzle bowl based on the artist Kadinsky, who loved to use shapes and lines to create his work. For this project, you're going to need a slab of clay. You're going to need a styrofoam bowl, some wet towels to place on top of that bowl to allow the clay to separate. And then you will need some basic tools like a fiddling knife, a wooden stick, a fork. And if you want, you can also use cookie cutters. After you have covered your bowl with some damp towels, the dampness just allows the, or helps the paper towels to stay in place. So I'll set that to the side for now. For the bowl, after you have slabbed the clay, remember the thickness is about a quarter to a half inch or the thickness of your pinky. So you can lay your pinky right beside the clay to see if you've got the proper thickness. Then you're going to want to cut out several pieces. So I'm gonna start by cutting out some stars for this bowl. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need. So I think I'll cut maybe seven or more. Uh, for this project, wet clay is best. You want it to be nice and sticky. Uh, the wetness is going to help hold your puzzle together. Okay, that's about seven stars. And then I'm also going to want to cut some stripes. Or long lines for this work as well. Now, when I construct my bowls, I don't worry too much about making it symmetrical or, or patterny. I like to randomly put the pieces together. This is my extra clay. I'm just gonna uh, wedge that together and set that to the side along with my other pieces. So now I'm gonna bring that styrofoam bowl back and start laying out and deciding what my pattern will be. Now I do need a little bit of overlap with this. Uh, that it's gonna allow me to attach the pieces together a little bit more. Uh, I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and score the clay on both edges that are going to be attached and gently press that down and do the same on the other corners. Press that down. There you go. So I've got the beginning of my bowl. Now like Kadinsky, I like to add some lines in there. And so uh, I'm thinking shooting stars. And so I'm gonna go ahead and lay some of those lines out like this and see if I like what, what's happening with the pieces. These lines will help hold the bowl together if I wanna leave some negative space in, in my arrangement. Once I find what I like, again, I'm going to score those, press them down. Score each side, even though this clay is super wet, and attach them together. It is best when you're doing your puzzle bowls to try to uh, keep the pieces as wet as possible. So I would recommend cutting them all out first, then starting the construction so that you can move a little bit quicker in the construction phase. 
and y'all have a bit more luck in constructing it. Okay, I've got a few more stars that I wanna lay onto here and see how I like that. I wanna remember that visually, this is the back of my bowl, okay? This is, this is the, the back side or bottom of the piece. So I'm gonna press those on. And this clay is super wet, which is ideal for this particular project. If you find that your clay is getting uh, too dry, wrap it in some towels over the weekend or over that time between classes and, and it will soften up for you. It will rejuvenate. So these pieces I left hanging out, um, really didn't have this plan. This is a project that you don't plan uh, too much. You just kind of let the, let the visualization of the piece bring, bring it together. So these pieces, I didn't know what I wanted to do with them, I, although I knew I didn't want to cut them off. And so now I'm turning them into just little additions to, to the design of the piece. And, and, and it's just a continuous line going through. Okay, press that down, make sure that that's nice and strong. Now, your requirement is to show repetition. So my repetition is in the, in the stars. I could use stars of different sizes um, as well and still maintain that repetition. But I also need to put feet on the bottom. Now I could make the feet out of these strips. Uh, for a round bowl, three is better than four for balance. If you have four and one is slightly off, then you're gonna have a wobble to your bowl. And so I really recommend that you try to use three with your piece. Again, I'm just letting this kind of fall together in the design of the piece. So I know where I want those. Ooh, they're sticking pretty good. I'm gonna just score where it doesn't stick. And there you go. Now these things are kind of sticking up for me now, but this one wants to fall. So I might take a paper towel or a piece of paper and just prop that underneath to hold it in place. until it's the leather hard stage. Now, I'm not done. I've got it constructed. I've got everything put together the way I want it to be, but it's really super wet. I can either put it in a bag and let it stiffen overnight, or I can take this piece and blow dry it. So I'm gonna um, stop the video and uh, go blow dry this a little bit.